welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, I will be showing you ways to help stop lagging issues in the new Call of Duty Warzone. This tutorial was requested on my forum. If you have a tutorial that you'd like to see me do, then please head on over to my forum and register and then make a request. Now, the first thing we want to do is make sure we have the latest Windows 10 updates. To do this, all you need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and type in update. And you now need to click on check for updates. And as you can see, I currently have a update available. If you do, then go ahead and press download and install the updates. It's also a good idea to create a system restore point before doing any updates, just in case anything goes wrong. If you don't have a download option, then you should have a check for updates option. Then go ahead and click on that button and Windows will search for available updates and then you will be able to install them. Installing Windows updates can help improve performance in Windows and in your games as it may patch up any bugs or problems within Windows. Now the next thing we need to do to help lagging issues in Call of Duty Warzone is to update to the latest graphics card drivers for your graphics card. I have a NVIDIA graphics card which means I need to download the latest drivers for my NVIDIA graphics card. They have now released new drivers for the new Call of Duty Warzone which will definitely help with performance. All you need to do is simply go ahead and find your graphics card. For example, I have a GeForce, I have a 900 series, which means I need to go ahead and select 900 series, and I have the 960 GTX. I have a 64-bit version of Windows 10. You can now go ahead and search once you've selected your graphics card. And there we go, you just now need to press download and install the driver. And like I said at the start of the video, make sure you create a system restore point just to be on the safe side. If you have an AMD graphics card, then you need to head on over to the AMD website. I will put all the links in the description below. You then need to select graphics, select your graphics card, and then go ahead and press submit. And you will then be able to download the drivers for your graphics card. Once you've done all that and restarted your PC, go ahead and boot up Call of Duty Warzone and see if this has helped with your lagging issues. And I can guarantee if you had old graphics card drivers installed, then this will definitely help improve that lagging problem and frame drop. The next thing we want to do before booting up Call of Duty, if you have just tried it and you didn't notice any difference, is to simply make sure we have no unnecessary programs running when playing our game. For example, close down your web browsers, you don't need them open, you're playing a game and they will be using memory, which we could be using in our game. The next thing you want to do as well is just simply right click on your taskbar and go on to task manager. And you now need to go on to start up and just make sure you don't have any unnecessary programs booting up with your Windows operating system. Once you have done this, then go ahead and boot up the game again and see if that has helped with performance. If not, then you could always try creating a new Windows user and then try booting up Warzone and see if that helps as the new user won't have as much unnecessary programs and files and everything on that account. And that can also help. If you have an antivirus program installed on your computer and it has a silent gaming mode option, then put it in silent game mode and see if that helps Call of Duty. Or try disabling it and then see if that helps as well. But just remember, if you do disable your antivirus, then you're not protected. So just be a bit careful about that. If you are still struggling with lagging and performance issues in Call of Duty Warzone, then the next thing to do is make sure you have the latest drivers for your network adapter as this can definitely help improve performance as well because if your network drivers are out of date the performance could be affected as well. 
and if you are using Wi-Fi or those network adapters then plug directly into your router if you can because this will also help with any lagging or network issues. We're now going to boot up Warzone and I'm going to go through a few settings with you which will help with your lagging issues. Before I go ahead and boot up Warzone, I'd like to just say there is a new update that's just been released and if you click on the patch notes and scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see for PC several fixes to prevent crashes and improve stability, which means this should hopefully also help fix any performance and crashing problems you may be having. So make sure you are on the latest patch update, 1.16.1. I'm now going to go ahead and restart Battle.net and open up Call of Duty and like I said we will then go through some of the settings in game. Once Warzone has booted up you now need to click on options and you now need to click on graphics. And the first option you want to adjust is under render resolution. We need to click on advanced and this is your display resolution. If you turn this resolution down that will help with lag in game as your graphics card won't have to work as hard but just remember turning down the resolution will affect how the game looks as well. Give it a go try turning the resolution down a little bit like for example for me I could click on this option here 1600 by 1024 and then boot up the game and see if that helps. The next option you want to do is simply disable the sync every frame. This will also help with any lag. You also want to turn off NVIDIA highlights if you have the option to turn this off. If we scroll down a little bit more now, you have all your effects and textures and details. It's obvious to turn them down to the lowest option, but don't do that straight away just work your way through the graphics settings. For example, if all your settings are set to high, then turn them down to normal. And then boot up Warzone and see how it feels. If it still doesn't feel great, then turn it down a little bit more. If we scroll down a bit more, we have our cache spot shadows. You want to enable this, but also bear in mind if you have shadows on, then that can also create a bit more lag as your graphics card has to work a bit harder. So I do recommend you just turn shadows all the way to low and this will help with lag problems as well. We have our cache sun shadows. I would say enable this as well as it will cache the shadows for the sun which will help with your memory in game. If we now scroll down a little bit more, we have particle lighting, like I said at the start, just work your way through and start from whichever option you had, ultra high or normal, and just work your way down until the game feels better. And if you're struggling really bad with lag, then I would definitely recommend turning off anti-aliasing. If we scroll down a little bit more, we have motion blur, I always turn that off anyway in games, and weapon blur. But if yours are enabled, then definitely turn this off as this will also help with any lagging issues. Once you are happy with your settings, then go ahead and press apply. And you will get a blank screen for a second. And there we go. Because I changed the resolution, it has also changed the resolution on my screen. I have now got black bars on the side of my screen. And that is basically it. That is all you can really do to help with lagging problems in Warzone. The only other options you have is to start spending money by simply putting Warzone on a SSD drive or simply upgrading your RAM or getting a new graphics card if you've got an older graphics card. I hope this tutorial has helped and like I said at the start, go over and check out my forum. I have lots of other guides and tutorials on my forum which are all very helpful. Also please hit that like button, every like does help with my videos and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.